If you're finding me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and his links are in the video description. We are talking stocks. Me and Larry have been reading. We've been into this thing since the coronavirus started. We was invested before then, but all this time gave us more time to really learn how you can earn money, how you can bet on stocks, get paid, and do some options. And I'm here to tell you guys, we told you on Tuesday we had an emergency live stream because we told you guys to get up there, oops, wrong one, and buy Tesla because they split. That was the price that it ended on Tuesday. And if you took our advice, because we said it was gonna have a run up all the way to the split, this is what it ended today. Yeah. You basically made yourself about $300 per every single share. And ladies and gentlemen, it ain't gonna stop because what they have done is start a trend that a whole lot of other tech companies claim they're gonna follow. And before we discuss that to help you guys make some more money in the stocks, take a look at the buzz surrounding what's been going on with Tesla and how Tesla and Apple has been able to make people consider, okay, there are retail investors who the psychology for them is if the stock is cheaper, I'll buy it versus the stock being $200 plus. Take a look at this. Great idea, actually, that they did it to both Apple and Tesla. And we applaud the uh, listing exchanges for working so hard to get this done. And I think why it's important, I think professionals sometimes forget that capital management is a big part for retail traders. And so they would like to participate a little bit more. But to go out and buy, you know, 100 shares of Apple right now is probably cost prohibitive for most people. And so if, if you go down and you cut that price by four, a few things about it. In a, in a world where we have a 60 basis point 10 year note, you can actually enhance your returns. If you want to sell a put in order to, to buy the stock, if you want to uh, okay. sell a covered call against your stock, you can start to use that. But besides that, Joe, again, people want to participate more. If I go back to 2014, last time Apple split, that week we saw seven times more orders, uh, sometimes, I'm sorry, more accounts, place orders, for Apple that week. People are interested in being involved to a higher level in companies that they know and like. They want more than one share or two shares. And the capital management part of this is so often overlooked as to how much money people have in their accounts. Okay, that makes some sense, I guess. So, so to do the, if you want to sell a put to acquire a stock or do some covered calls, you. Uh, you need more. But other, I mean, you, it's not that hard to buy fractional or to, to buy 10 shares of a stock uh, at this point. So that makes uh, sense that, that everyone agree, should do it. JJ, you got 30, you got 30 <laughs> seconds to, to talk or you'll never be on again if you go beyond that. Okay, Joe, I will not go beyond that. Nope. But I will say that, again, with these high price stocks, people want more than one share or two shares. They want to be involved. Plus, in terms of market structure, those are protected orders. Okay. It's also a big deal. Uh, e even though retail gets great service overall, I think that right. it's overlooked how much people would like to participate, and this gives them an opportunity to, right, and I'm under 30 seconds. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, yeah. he, just, he just told you the power of what a split does, and I think that it is outstanding that some of the other tech companies, Facebook is discussing it, Amazon said they're not doing it. Amazon wants to be like Berkshire Hathaway, and they are not doing it. They don't really see a need in doing it. But I also saw Microsoft discussing that they might do a stock split. And ladies and gentlemen, even though your, your, your goal is still going to be one stock or basically one hamburger with a price of $10 versus the same hamburger with $10 with a dollar for 10 people value, what these old school heads aren't understanding is that the fundamentals don't change, but the psychology does. And people right. want whole shares. People want to see a psychological price that is $100 versus $500 versus $400. People want to say, hey, I can go buy five shares and watch it grow versus I got to do fractional shares or I just got to save up my whole damn three weeks worth of work money to go and buy one damn share of Tesla. And so right. that's why you're seeing these splits become popular. And the other point that a lot of companies are doing, whether we want to admit it or not, tech has really, really overcorrected. It has really overcorrected. And sooner or later, there's going to be a fluctuation where things are going to taper down. 
right. they want this market to hit all time highs. The best way to do that is to bring in new investors by splitting these stocks up, giving more people opportunities to buy them. And as the guy said in the video, people want to do calls and puts. Well, if you can't afford a one contract, which is 100 shares, you're going to have a hard time doing calls and puts. And yeah. what I know that these old heads are doing is when stock prices go down, the premium for the options go down too. And they don't right. like that. I mean, they won't tell you that to your face, but they don't but that's like what it that. Is. That's what it is. So instead of them getting a sweet $3,000 a week premium, you, you split the stock, the premium goes down to maybe, you know, $1,000 a week or whatever. And they don't want to tell you that other than they just want to try to keep telling you it shouldn't make a difference. It's going to be right. the same value, blah, blah, blah. But there's psychology that goes into it. People want whole shares and other people want to take advantage of the option premiums too. Larry, I'll give the floor to you. Yeah. And on the other end, what he was talking about as far as, you know, retail investors being able to afford to get in, it, you know, I can't like if I wanted to go buy some Tesla stock and I wanted to buy a whole block, I can't afford $160,000 to go buy, you know, 100 shares of, of Tesla. I mean, and that's what it would take because it's 1600 bucks a share. It's, I mean, that's just, I don't know too many people who are just retail investors that can afford to go do that. I mean, even at, even at Apple, if you, Apple's today was what, 457. So now you're talking about, you know, you're talking about what, 4,500 or $45,000 or something like that, just to buy, just to buy a hundred shares. Mm, I mean, crazy. that is, that is nuts. You know, right? And so you do a four to one split, and now all of a sudden that block of hundred is four thousand dollars instead of instead of forty. You know, I mean, five to one on Tesla, it's still expensive. I mean, it's going to be run up. I mean, if even if, if it gets run up to a thousand dollars and they do a five to one, it's still going to come out to around two hundred bucks a share or something like that. It's looking, you know? Larry, it's looking like they might run it up to two thousand. I mean, yeah, I for real, it's looking like they're going to because everybody knows that when the thing gets cheaper, nobody wants to miss that second ride. Nobody. Well, we're going to see because the stock price is going to probably the stock price is going to go flat. Now, I don't mean flat. I just mean, well, yeah, it's probably going to go relatively flat, I think, after the 21st because right. the, it's, it's because going to go flat next Monday. Next Monday is when it's going to go flat. Well, I'm and thinking then, Friday. I'm thinking Friday you, you because think, twenty because October twenty first, uh, August twenty first is the cutoff. If you own that stock on August twenty first, you're going to be part of that split. If you buy it right, on October right. after that, you then get, you you, you may split. still pay you may still pay the the full price for it, but you're not going to get that split. This any you need to buy it by August twenty first to get that split, and then it's going to start trading at the adjusted uh, at the adjusted price on August 31st, 10 days later. So I think between the 31st, between the 21st and the 31st is going to be pretty flat. But I think in between then over the next week, people like, well, there's only five days for next week. They're going to run it up. They're going to run it up in between now and then. So Right. Right. And, and uh, Steve, I'm, I'm reading some of the people's comments um, for my folk. Why not? And some of the others next week, I'm going to finally get a full, tutorial video walkthrough. I'm going to do it with my wife first, then I'm going to do another one with Larry, where I'm going to show you how easy it is to do an option selling puts. Do an option, and the strategy is called the wheel strategy, where you do a contract, they pay you premium up front. And if your price doesn't go below a certain point by the end of the week, you get to keep the premium and they give you your cash collateral back. If not, you get the price at a discount, you get the stocks at a discount, and then you pay it, you do another premium with those shares, and then you just sell them for the difference of what you got them at a discount. It's called the wheel strategy. And I'm gonna do a full tutorial how to pick the stock, how it works, how insurance companies and banks been doing this for years and didn't want you to really know about it. And this is why a lot of the old school investors are complaining about stock prices dropping because typically, the more expensive the stock, the more premium is going to be involved because you have 
institutional people investing in those stocks, trying to right. find discounts and deals. So for them, you just basically, when you knock that price down to like $200, <laughs> you're going from, you know, Tesla might be $1,600. It goes down to $300. Right now, an option right. on Tesla in a week, they could make literally six grand. But if you knock right. it down to you knock it down to three hundred dollars, that six grand goes down to about fifteen hundred dollars. So that's another right. reason why the old school heads are getting mad. But ladies and gentlemen, there's a bunch of high dollar option stocks you can use, and right. I suggest in the beginning you don't try to do one like I'm going to show you guys we're going to do that's pretty expensive because it pays a lot of premium. You start with something small like me and Larry did when I was showing him how to do it. And so, ladies and gentlemen. There has never in history been a better time to take advantage of what's going on while you're home, learn all these strategies, make yourself some money.